guys, how are you going on my side of the universe? Today we are going to unbox the Azito wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Um, so it runs off 18 volt battery. Um, it's similar to one we already have, but it actually can uh, suck up, I guess, normal items, so dry items, but you can also uh, suck up water and yeah, use it to clean up spills and whatnot. So in terms of what's in it, I think it kind of goes by uh, what's on the little sign here. It's got an 18 litre tank on it. So again, you can use the built-in, um, I guess like the canister, or you can also use the vacuum cleaner bags if you want to filter like down to smaller particles. Um, yeah, as it says, it's wet and dry, it's lightweight, comes with a hose and also three extension tubes. So you can actually like use it like a normal vacuum cleaner. And it's got a crevice tool, brush and floor tool included. So it's pretty much what's not gonna be on here. So like I said, we do have a very similar one to this here already, but it runs off normal power. So because we're in the caravan and we've got the car and whatnot, um, I thought it'd be good to get one which actually just runs off one of these. So this is the same battery I've got for the, my drills, the multi-tool and also the miter saw, so, and also the fan and work light. So you pretty much one battery can fit like a whole multiple, um, lot of different tools. So I thought having the, the um, vacuum cleaner run off that as well, it means I can take this out to the car, I can take it to the caravan, and you can have a bunch of these all charged up, ready to go whenever you need to use it. So we shall open up. Uh, in terms of price and stuff, I bought me some Bunnings, um, and I think it was $69, which again, I think was similar price to what the, um, the quarter version was. But the only difference here is you need to have a battery already because it doesn't come with a battery. So, and again, uh, being a Bunnings, you can pretty much buy from any Bunnings around Australia. And same as the batteries, you can buy them from Bunnings as well. So as long as you've got a Bunnings nearby, you're fine. So in terms of unboxing, so this is actually slightly different because the one we got last time was actually just, um, it's like a vacuum cleaner for your garage. So it's more meant for concrete and that. So this one actually comes with like a brush and I guess, yeah, the little thing there. So you can use this for carpet plus other one. So it's got a button here. So you can actually raise and lower this here. So depending on what you're vacuuming. Uh, we've got some instructions. So that's just depending if you're going to be drying uh, sorry, vacuuming up dry stuff or wet stuff. You put on a different filter. Um, that's the instruction booklet there. So that's just advertising all the different um, all the different items, which I should know because I've probably had about 10 of those or so, so far. And then that's just yeah, how to use the item, how to set it up and whatnot. So in theory, and now this is all the stuff that comes in the box. Oh, they all seem to be attached at once. Oh, there we go, there's some multiple lines there. There. This here looks to be like a, oh, that looks like where you put the battery in. So you can see the connections there. So we'll give that a bit of spoonage. I reckon there's stuff actually in the vacuum cleaner itself. Um, just because it looks to be some missing items. Like there's the wheels that go on the bottom here. I think this is where you put your hoses attachments, just for storage. It looks like you can just put them on the side here. So it packs away a bit more cleaner. So yeah, so, so far we've got three of these extension handles, which are really you just combine to make for like the one long pole and then you'll connect this to the bottom. So we've got three of those, we've got the hose here as well. And then inside I'd save these for the rest of the items that it mentions. So the, oh, there we go. So there's um, like your standard filter. Not quite sure sort of what else is, but I think this is a filter if you're not using the vacuum cleaner bag. Um, there might be, I can hear something else rattle in there, so there might be something else in here. I'll learn how to undo this, I don't know if it pulls straight out or this comes over it. There we go. Oh, okay. There's just a, a valve or something there it looks like. So yeah, that looks like to be the dry filter. So again, as you suck stuff up, that will filter the air that gets uh, pushed back out again. I think that just went on and then you twist that by memory. Yeah, there's, a, there's some dimples there, so you just twist on. Oh, try the end. So we have the crevice tool. So when you want to get into tight corners. Ok, 
crevice tool. So yeah, what you use when you want to get into a tight corner, you just put that on the end of one of those extensions of a hose and then you can get yeah into the tight areas. I think this is just another extension, I think, or it's an adapter. Probably goes like this here and connects into the end of one of those. So that is just like an adapter tube that converts, I think, the wide one to another wide one. Um, that there is like a triangle brush or but it's a circular brush at this time. We have some feet. And then we have, I think this is for the wet items. Um, so I think this is just like a bag or a filter that you put over this here. So it's not as fine as what the dust bag is, but because liquid isn't dust, um, I think that's really just to stop water going into the motor. But in theory, the water should just drop into the bottom. So yeah, you can see this here, it's just pretty much like a bag that goes over it. So yeah, just goes over, I think, the frame of that. Cardboard. So you can see, but when you're sucking up wet items, this is actually like waterproof on the bottom there. So when you suck up the wet items, it will just fall straight into the here and then you just empty it out like that at the end. Same as if you're using a vacuum cleaner without the vacuum cleaner bag. Um, I guess if you're using the bag, it would all fill this up. If you're not, the dry items will just fall into there. But I guess the other thing is all probably like attached to your filter. So this here helps um, keep everything clean inside. So the only task really have to do is just put the feet on. Looks like all I have to do is just push this on. So there's four of these, and looks like these just fit into the slot here. So again, they just push on, and it just helps it move around a bit easier. It is actually quite light, the bottom here. I think it's just made of aluminium, so it's actually quite light. Not quite sure about these. I don't know if it's like an earthing strap or to get rid of static electricity, so because obviously it touches the ground when you're using it. I can read the booklet, but in theory, so in theory, all you do is yeah, you hold the handle here, and then it looks like you just line up these edges here. So it looks like this just grabs the side. And then I'll grab my pocket from earlier. So it looks like this should just slide into place like this. And that's an output. So I think you can actually use this as like an inflator as well, because um, all you do is put this on the, like the outlet. So rather than, because one, one side will suck stuff in and one stuff will blow stuff out. So in theory, if you actually put this on the outlet, you can actually blow air out like this, out from the other end. So unless just to use it as a vacuum cleaner, you can put this on, but in theory, I've got the battery already connected. Now if I turn this on, it should actually start sucking. Yeah, so that's it. So it's like a portable vacuum cleaner. So not just those little small ones which barely pick up anything. You can actually have like a full size vacuum cleaner that runs just off an 18 volt battery. So again, as I was saying, if you, uh, this is the outlet. So if you turn this on, you can actually suck it. Oh, you can boil it out this side as well. So we actually, you can So this would be good for yeah cleaning up inside the, um, the caravan. Good thing is it's not that wide, so we can actually store it under the bed or just in the corner. Um, and yeah, rather than just using like a small sort of portable vacuum cleaner, you can actually have like a full proper size vacuum here using the extension tools. So you can just take three of these. And then you've got this thing here. So again, that's the wide one. This is what you need for the adapter. And now you can actually use it like a normal vacuum. So again, no wires, completely off battery. As we've done an unboxing, <laughs> it's like two in one. So yeah, it's actually got a good suction. And there you go, cleaned up for it. And that's it. No need to like connect and find an extension cord. You can go around the whole house, 
just with this, and I don't have to yeah, drag a cord around. So you can just follow this around and do the whole house without have to actually yeah, drag a cord or plug it into various power points as you normally have to. So, hi on guys, this is our Azito 18 volt wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Hi on. <laughs> so that's it guys that's our ozito wet and dry vacuum unboxing for today's video na in unbox the jacks earlier and then na demonstrate the ni jacks about the filters kapag mag vacuum kai if you will use the wet and dry and then it's 18 stainless steel tank nakita nyo earlier it's 1.5 meter hose and premium extension tubes they also have a nozzle too lightweight and affordable so you don't need to have an outlet it's a battery operated guys and Kahit saan mo siya dalhin, pwede kasi there's no cord here dito sa ating wet and dry vacuum for today. And then, it's a brush and floor tool included in the box. And it's also very light talaga. You can also easy to use. And then, Jack's body for 69 AUD. So, 69 AUD, guys. It costs 2,672.90 peso if you will convert it in peso. So, ayun na nga, guys. We bought it in Bonnings Warehouse dito sa Australia. It's highly recommended. It's a cordless. It's battery operated. Very light. Easy to use. So, that's the end of our Ozito wet and dry vacuum unboxing for today's video. Video. I hope you had fun and you learned something today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening and thank you for supporting my videos. Mega love shout out to each wonderful people of the universe. Thank you from the bottom of my hypothalamus. Please like if you did enjoy my video for today. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet. And don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified on my next video. And please comment down below if you like this video. Bye. And see you when I see you on my next one bye bye guys be good you take care be safe and mwah. ciao la